for the Senate. But I'm not here, Mr. Madam Mayor, in that capacity tonight, but I am pleased to be here and take a few minutes. I, I'm here as president of the American Family Association of Michigan, which is a Christian advocacy group that promotes traditional family values. I'm one of two co-authors of the Marriage Protection Amendment that was passed by nearly 60% of Michigan voters, including majority here in the city of Troy. I'm here, uh, Madam Mayor, I want to thank you for number one, telling the truth about some issues for which you've been criticized. I give a hearty amen to the lady who just said that just because you believe in the Judeo-Christian definition of marriage, you should not be vilified for exercising your First Amendment free speech right to say so. And I know this has been a topic of discussion. I'd like to thank you for telling the truth about the personal and public health hazards associated with sexual activity outside of marriage and for not retreating, retracting, or apologizing for telling the truth in the face of bullying by those with a political agenda. If we truly care about the well-being and have compassion for our fellow men and women, we tell the truth. We don't hide the truth. It's notable who agrees with you on the facts. Between the lines, a homosexual advocacy newspaper in Detroit reported comments by Matt Foreman, then executive director of the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force, who in a 2008 speech in Detroit referred to HIV AIDS as, quote, a gay disease, unquote. And then between the lines, a homosexual advocacy newspaper reported statistics support Foreman's assertion with nearly 70% of cases in Michigan found in the men who have relations with men category. The Canadian Rainbow Health Coalition, a Toronto-based homosexual advocacy group, concurred in an official statement to the Canadian government in late 2010, quote, it is clear that HIV AIDS infection rate in the gay, lesbian, bisexual community is significantly higher than the general population. And they estimate it would, it would be anywhere from nine to 26 times higher. CNN, cable news network, reported last year that homosexual men in California, quote, are nearly twice as likely to report a cancer diagnosis as straight men in the state, according to a new research published uh, study published online Monday in the medical journal Cancer. The Canadian Rainbow Health Coalition again concurred, gay men, lesbians, and bisexual men and women are at higher risk for some cancers as a result of their sexual activity. And sadly, the end result of this severely elevated HIV, AIDS, and cancer risk is predictable. Oxford University's International Journal of Epidemiology published a study in 1997 which reported, quote, life expectancy at age 20 years for gay and bisexual men is 8 to 20 years less than for all men, unquote. And this finding was repeated in 2000 by the Canadian Medical Association Journal. And again, the Canadian Rainbow Health Coalition concurred in 2010 saying, quote, what research exists consistently indicates that the life expectancy of gay, lesbian, bisexual people is substantially lower than that of the general population. It's been estimated to be a life expectancy 20 years less than the average man has in Canada. And while health indicators suggest it is not as low for lesbians as for gay men, it is still lower than the life expectancy of the general population. 20 years. I understand, Mayor Daniels, that you've been recently criticized for saying publicly that engaging in homosexual behavior like smoking poses a threat to health. And in fact, that's true. But smoking and homosexual behavior are not, in fact, comparable threats to health in years of life. According to science, homosexual behavior poses a greater health risk than smoking. According to the New England Journal of Medicine, smoking tobacco will result in a premature death by an average of seven years. The Oxford University published study, plus the 2010 statement by the Canadian Rainbow Health Coalition, a homosexual advocacy group, point to findings that life expectancy for men who engage in that activity is 20 years less. 20 years due to homosexual behavior, seven due to smoking. Simple math indicates that homosexual behavior puts men at risk of losing up to three times as many years of their lives compared to risk of life, loss of life due to smoking. Homosexual behavior is also like smoking in this respect. It has secondhand effects, particularly on children raised in households headed by individuals who engage in that behavior. A study released one week ago by the University of Texas how different are the adult children of parents who have same-sex relationships by Mark Regneris, Department of Sociology and Population Research Center, University of Texas. 3,000 young adults studied, found dramatically higher incidence of poor impulse control, depression, thoughts of suicide, mental health therapy, 
identifying themselves as homosexual, cohabiting, being unfaithful to partners, contracting sexually transmitted diseases, being sexually molested, etc. And his conclusion was that the study, quote, clearly reveals that children most apt to succeed well as adults are those who, when they spend their entire childhood Mr. with their married mother and father. The time is up. So, Thank you so much. Madam Mayor and City Council, he goes on to say that we will have to pay higher taxes for law enforcement uh, if, if we don't continue up. to promote marriage. So thank, thank you, Madam you. Mayor. Thank you.